So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching Carly Steele how to meditate. What is up everybody? It is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today I am joined by a very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Carly Steele and I'm a mess. <laughs> yeah, and because of that mess, we're gonna try to teach her how to meditate. Yay. But this is part of a collab, so we just actually filmed a video over on Carly's channel about addiction, and I dive into some brain science. Carly opens up about some stuff. But what other stuff do you know? I don't even wanna ask what you have over on your channel. Like, what has your channel been kind of focusing on lately? Um, kind of refinding my mental health, my spiritual, um, God, and just making myself a better person all around. Yeah, so make sure you go follow her. Like, it's it's awesome. Like, I've been watching the videos and it <laughs> makes me tear up. I'm like a big brother. And I'm like, oh, you're learning. <laughs> but something that Carly has been driving me nuts about is I keep trying to get her to meditate, like a lot of you, and she won't do it. So in this video, I wanted to show her like this is way easier than a lot of people uh know but first like what i want to talk about is is like answering questions and also hearing your excuses there's something going on outside and hearing your excuses about why you don't meditate because trust me and this isn't to put a spotlight on you but i know a lot of them have those same excuses so why haven't you started meditating like i told you that you only had to do it five minutes a day why haven't you done it I'm not gonna give excuses because because I you make time for things you need to do. But <laughs> I feel like it's just because I don't know how. I don't want to. Yeah, even though I showed you apps that will guide you through it. <laughs> yeah. Is it well? Let's be honest. I, I guess mean, some people will say I, they don't have time. Yeah, but do you think like here's something that I struggle with? I'm like, how is this stupid thing gonna help me? Yeah, a little bit, a okay. little bit that way. And I, I believe in prayer, so I'm like... Mm. Well, it's almost the same thing. And we're gonna jump into that pretty Ooh. soon. All right. All right, so when you say you don't know how, like when you think of meditation, like what do you think it is? I think it's me sitting and just shutting my eyes and trying to not think of anything. But when I don't think of anything, I'm thinking of not thinking of anything, so then I think. <laughs> Biggest misconception <laughs> about meditation. Really? So everybody thinks, everybody thinks that meditation is about not thinking, yeah. which is insane. Because did you know, did you know that on average, the human brain has between 50 and 90,000 thoughts per day? I believe it. Right, and check this out, 90% of them are repetitive. You think about the same thing over and over and over and over and over mm. and over, right? So no matter how much you meditate, the greatest Buddhist monks can never stop thinking. Mm -hmm. So meditation is not about stopping your thoughts, it's about noticing your thoughts, gotcha. okay? So one way that uh, I, I, I personally kind of picture it, especially when I first started, was just looking at them as like clouds in the sky, all right, just kind of passing by. See, our problem is, is that we, we latch onto that cloud and we get, dr we dr get drug away with it, right? So like, for example, like, let's say somebody pisses you off. Okay, let's have fun. Tell me a situation without naming any names, no shade, no tea. How has somebody pissed you off recently? Just like what they did, just that's it, what they did. Put blame on me when I, it's not all me. Yeah, okay, so hmm, that's a good one, right? So what happens is, is somebody put blame on us, right? And then we think, how dare they? Then we start wondering, what are they thinking? Then our ego comes in. It's like, don't they know who I am? And then we start thinking about how we got to defend ourselves. If you're vengeful like I am, I start thinking about all the ways I'm going to get back at them. I'm thinking of all the shade. What, what can I tweet? What can I do on Instagram? Do you see what I'm saying? So... It was, rather than them just putting blame on you and you moving on and letting go, it turns into this whole story. Does that make sense? Yes. So all we're doing with meditation is we're catching that first thought, noticing, oh, this is anger, this is fear, this is anxiety or whatever, and then moving on, okay? Gotcha. So mindfulness, like somebody taught me a long time ago, mindfulness is just letting go over and over and over again. So when we're talking about specifically like a, a, a feeling like anger, um, think about it like holding a hot coal, right? Like we're holding on to it forever, but the more you practice meditation, you start dropping it a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So it's because when you sit there on the angry, like, do you notice how you get more angry the more you think about yes. it? Yes. Right? Yeah. You create this whole story in your head. 
Okay, so are you guys starting to learn why we gotta meditate, okay? So again, it's not about stopping your thoughts, it's about noticing your thoughts. Okay. A lot of times when I'm meditating, I start laughing because I think of all the crazy shit going on in my head, right? If I'm just quiet and like I'm just sitting here and nothing's happening and then all of a sudden I'm thinking of like some kid in eighth grade who did something stupid, I'm like, I wonder what that jackass is doing today. You know, and then I laugh at myself, I'm like, why do I care? You see what I mean? Yes. Like, it can be fun, yes. it can be very simple, easy, yes. all that stuff, yes. all right? So, did we get rid of that myth? Yes. All right. That makes it a lot easier just by knowing that because trying to not think is like, I feel like it's impossible for me not to think. How do you not think? Yeah, nobody's Unless not Unless I'm sleeping. Think. Yeah, if you had, that's the other misconception is that we think that we have control over our thoughts. Like if I had control over my thoughts, I would never get angry, sad, scared, depressed, anxious, mm -hmm. right? I would just be like, don't be anxious. <laughs> you know, we have absolutely no control of our thoughts. Yeah. So part of meditation is accepting that we don't have any control of our thoughts, mm -hmm. all right? Rather than resisting it. Okay. So the other way I kind of explain meditation is, like before meditating, it's like, imagine watching a movie on a movie screen. Like before, we are the, the people in the movie, right? We're going through all this stuff, that story that we create. When you start to meditate, now it's like you're the person watching the movie. Now you're just watching that story go by, but mm -hmm. you're not getting swept up in it. And it's okay to feel emotions. Like you ever watch, you ever watch a movie that just gave you the feels? Oh yeah. What's the last movie that just made you feel? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch movies very often. No. But 13 Reasons Why, I watched that show. Oh, do you? Did, have you watched my reviews of that no, show? No, I haven't. Oh my God. That just... show makes me my feels. Grey's Anatomy makes me my feels. Yeah, there you go. So. So yeah, it's okay to feel those things, yeah. right? But we don't get like swept up and I'm like, like does something on Grey's Anatomy, and this might be a bad question if you're like really into it, but has it like kept you up at night? No. Okay, exactly. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to do with our normal That would've been like, really bad. Yeah, exactly. So, so exactly. So rather than being in the movie or in the show, we're stepping outside of it, okay? Right. Now, the other misconception about mindfulness, which is what we're gonna be doing today, is that we think that in order to meditate, we gotta sit, be quiet, watch our thoughts. Like that is one thing. That is one thing. All mindfulness is, I'm gonna give you the definition of mindfulness as explained by the father of Western mindfulness, a guy by the name of John Kabat-Zinn, Zinn, and it's paying attention on purpose in the present moment and without judgment, okay? okay. That's all it is. So you don't have to sit there and be like, no, that's one. We call so we call that formal meditation, mm -hmm. but there's also informal meditation. Okay. So there's all sorts of stuff. Okay. So I brought Carly chocolate. Woo! What? That's uh, the only reason why I'm here. I'm <laughs> I was like, hey girl, what kind of what kind of candy? <gasps> Those are my two favorite. What not not sponsored by the way. Okay, which one do you want to use? This one. Okay. All right. <laughs> She's chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Colleen's friend behind the camera heard that we got chocolate. Can I eat it? So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so listen. Yay! See, meditation's fun. All right. Now, before I hand you this piece of chocolate, you gotta promise me two things. You're not gonna do anything unless I instruct you to do it. Okay. Okay, and you're gonna pay attention to what your brain's doing. Something that we're trying to do, we're trying to be like scientists, we're trying to investigate, trying to research, okay? I'm so drooling. hold on to this, okay? That's it, hold on to it, <laughs> that's it. No. Oh, now are you interested? Okay, behind the camera. Oh, okay. Here, follow along behind the camera, okay? <laughs> She's like, okay. All right, you can do it with us, okay? We're all going to do, so this is what we call mindful eating. And it's fun to oh, know we need this. We need mindful eating really bad. So over on Carly's channel, we were talking about addiction and everything like that. So by the way, for anybody out there who wants to do this, pause the video, go get a snack or whatever. You're, you follow the same rules. You can't do anything until I tell you to. <laughs> All right? Pause the video, go get yourself a snack or whatever. So one thing I want you to do is as I'm talking, notice how many times your brain says, just shut the hell up and let me eat this. <laughs> All right? I, I, I said that in my head right now. Okay. So. Guess what? You two are being mindful right now. You're, you're noticing your thoughts, okay? So anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna notice, our brain is always in two constant states, attraction and aversion, right? Give me more or get that away. What's a food that you hate? Apples. I like everything. Okay, all right, so you it's a little bit harder, but yeah, if you've been into an apple, your brain is gonna say, eh, and get it away. Same thing with our feelings, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do, okay, is that we're just going to notice as much about this piece of chocolate that we can using all of your senses, sight, sound, 
smell, not taste yet. Man. Okay. Uh, touch, but I'm gonna add a sixth one in. Thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just examine this piece of chocolate like you're an alien. You've never seen this thing before. Okay. Notice how much it weighs. Notice the little grooves in it. Any kind of weird dots or imperfections in it. Smell it. Notice if your brain saying, I want to eat this right now. You can even see, does this thing make a sound? And if you do that and you think that's stupid, then notice that thought, all right? So you're just examining this thing. Okay, now we're going to unwrap it. Woo! And now we're just gonna hold it in our hand. Now, I'm not gonna do this, I'm just gonna instruct you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do is Raise it to your mouth, but notice the entire action of raising it to your mouth, how your arm's moving. Do not bite into that thing until I tell you to, okay? So open your mouth and just let it rest in your mouth. Oh, rest. Like put it in it, but don't yes. bite it? Yes. <gasps> All right, and notice the thoughts going through your head. Notice is your mouth like salivating, are you getting smells, right? What is your body doing in this moment? <laughs> Releasing dopamine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now go ahead and take a bite. Don't swallow it yet. What? Just chew it in your mouth. Notice how the texture changes in your mouth. Notice is your mouth making more saliva, all right? Notice the sensation to swallow it and think about, or notice rather, do I want more? Do I want to eat the rest of it? All right, now go ahead and swallow it and notice how it goes down your throat into your stomach. And now just notice, am I full? Do I want more? What are the thoughts going through your head? For people who struggle with eating, like, is the thought like, I can eat 15 more of these? Okay, all we're doing is noticing the thoughts. All right, finish the damn buttercup. <laughs> okay? This is the best collab ever. That's it, mindful eating. So what I we're like doing- I appreciate it more. Exactly. So one of my favorite meditation teachers says, a lot of people are trying to like double the length of their life, but what meditation and mindfulness does, it helps us enjoy life a hundred times more. Because mm -hmm. we're paying attention. Like how many times do you just sit on the couch and just shovel chips in your mouth? Or how many times do you just, just doing it. really hungry and you just, you know, sit down at the dinner table, your food comes, you right? Like an expensive meal even. So this is about slowing down and really noticing everything about it. You know, so if you can do this, this is a challenge to all of you, including you two in the room, is try to do this at least for three or four bites each meal. Okay. That's it. Is it that hard, Carly? No. Since I can't get you to sit down and meditate for five minutes, yeah, eating anyways, right? I'm proud of you too. I feel like that, like I feel so satisfied from that one yeah, chocolate. Yeah, like I don't even want another one. But if I would have just shoved it in my throat, I would have had another one. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just about noticing these things. Mm, like it was so much better. Like So you, you two just did mindful eating. That's it. That's all it was. But now we're going to do some more. Okay. Okay? So I've sold people on mindfulness, right? Yes. All right. So next one is you are trying to reconnect with God, mm -hmm. right? Rebuilding your spirituality. Mm -hmm. In the video we did on your channel, you mentioned prayer. Are you going back to church? Yes. So I'm not religious, I am spiritual, and we're not diving into that, but part of this is, and what I saw from your video, Carly has like an hour long video, I suggest you go watch it, and you talk about reconnecting with God. So part of that, to my understanding, or what I've learned in my, you know, my 12 step programs about spirituality, is that you wanna live in a way that your God would want you to, right? Yes. So. Another way to be mindful, I'm gonna give you two different ways, but for somebody practicing a religion, is whenever you're going to make a decision, stop and say, what would God want me to do in this moment? Mm -hmm. That's being mindful of your decisions. That's all it is, is pausing for a second when you wanna send that tweet, when you wanna send that text message, when you wanna you know, clap back at somebody in a video, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever it is, ask yourself, what would, what would you know, God want me to do? Now, for people who aren't spiritual, who aren't religious, find somebody that you look up to. You know what I mean? And this could be a, a figure right now. Like, who's like, who's a good role model? Uh, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? Yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah. Right now, okay. Yeah. So ask yourself, what would Justin Bieber do in this situation? Me, I was thinking along the lines of like MLK, Gandhi, uh, all right? But I'll take Justin Bieber. <laughs> but ask yourself, like, what would this 
person do, right? Or something that I've done and a lot of meditators do is rather than having like an external higher power, there's this higher power within and say like, like imagine the person that you want to be. Like, what does that person look like? So when you're about to make decisions, say, what would that person do in this mm -hmm. situation? Because we're all on this journey trying to improve ourselves and stuff like that. Like, for example, I'm trying to lose weight. So when I'm sitting there and I want to buy stuff and just show my freaking face, like, what would the person, the healthier version of me do in that situation? Exactly. So that's another way to be mindful is just to pause and ask yourself that question. Boom. Two mindfulness lessons wow. right there. I know, right? It's like I'm a, a ma magician. Yeah. All right. So the last one, this is one that I just want to show you real quick because uh, I've been meaning to do it on my channel and here we go. So this last mindfulness practice is called noting, noting, like writing notes. Okay. Okay. So five senses again, sight, sound, I always screw this up. Sight, sound, taste, taste, touch, touch, here, wait, no, no, we said sound, taste, touch, feel, oh wait, that's touch. <laughs> Smell. 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 Okay. So those five and add thinking. So all noting is my son and I, we, we do this in the car together. Okay. So basically what you're doing is you're sitting there and you're noticing which one of those senses is most prominent right there. Okay. We're going to do this for like literally a minute and a half okay. and we're going to switch off. Okay. okay. So just notice what, which sense is most prominent in that moment. Okay. So we're going to switch off. I'm going to do it and I'm going to tell you to do it. Okay. okay. So there's a buddy system one. You can do it with a friend. Okay, right? wait, okay. Just watch me do it and you got this, okay? okay? So just sit, get relaxed. All right. So seeing, hearing, thinking, thinking, seeing, hearing, tasting, Thinking, seeing. All right, you try. So I just say what's going on, like yeah. what's sensing. What what's is sensing? happening in your experience right now? Okay. Tasting, hearing, thinking, hearing, thinking, thinking, thinking. Tasting, not feeling. Nope, I'm done. That's it. Well, <laughs> that, that was, was it. That was, that was totally fun. Like sometimes you'll just be like thinking, thinking, yeah. thinking. I kept hearing the thinking. clock. I was like hearing. See, and that's what. Like how how many times have you noticed that clock since you've been here? Once, right there. Boom. Mm -hmm. Right. So all this is is experiencing life more fully. So mm -hmm. that was called noting. You can do that anytime, anywhere. Just say, you know what? I'm going to take a few minutes and just do noting. Mm -hmm. Right. Or like, like I said, my son and I would do it in the car, but there's also mindful listening. Something that I do is I go outside, I just get quiet and I see how many sounds I can recognize. Right. So like, even if you, if you're just like all stressed out and you need a break, just walk outside and see how many sounds you can hear. Whether it's the wind, cars, motorcycle, birds, Whatever it is. So, and every time you do that, remember on your channel, I taught her. I taught her about this, you guys. The whole hand model, prefrontal cortex. You guys just did like push-ups for your prefrontal cortex, strengthen it. And guess what this prefrontal cortex does? Let me tell you. Impulse control, self-awareness, emotional regulation. Huh? I need emotional regulation. Logical decision making. Let me repeat that. Logical decision making. Mm -hmm. So every time you do this, even if you, like studies have shown that even if you do this five minutes a day, it will strengthen the prefrontal cortex. And those are all pretty sweet abilities that we all need. Yeah. It also improves things like empathy, morality, all that stuff. And it also helps to regulate the flow of dopamine, which we also talked about on your channel. Gotcha. All right. So. Are you gonna meditate? Yes, that was it's so easy. I know. I could do it in the car, I could do it anywhere. Exactly. Real quick, something I always tell people is like, you know, I, I like to do mindful driving and they're like, oh my God, you're like meditating in the car. And it's like, you better be mindful driving. Like how many times do we get in a car and we're going someplace that we already know and we're there and we don't even, we didn't recognize yeah, I'm anything. like, I'm like, did I go through like seven stop signs? Cause I don't remember. Exactly. So sometimes yeah. that's where I meditate, right? Sometimes I get anxious while I'm driving and I'll just put my hand in front of the air vent and I just notice what that feels like, right? So there's so many different things that you can do that don't involve that formal meditation that mm -hmm. we were talking about, all right?
Any last questions about meditation? Is there a certain amount of time I have to do it every day or just? Uh, five minutes a day, you'll get results. Okay, that's it? 10 minutes, yeah, Okay. right? And it, like I said, it's like going to the gym for your prefrontal cortex, you don't even gotta go anywhere, mm -hmm. right? Five minutes a day, 10 minutes is good, right? Just to let you all know, everybody watching this, I do five minutes. 10 minutes is a stretch for me. Like I have some of the audience members come out and they're like, hey Chris, I've been meditating for like 30 minutes a day. I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes what I'll do is I'll do like five minutes in the morning, five minutes around lunch, five minutes at night, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. But you'll start noticing differences. In my experience, the people around you will start to notice differences in you before you do. They'll be like, wow, Carly, you didn't react to that situation like you used to because you're strengthening your impulse control. She's already doing that. Yeah? Yeah. See? So I, I, I would say, because like sometimes uh, I try to point out when people have been mindful, like you're being more mindful about improving your mental mm -hmm. health, you know? It's something that maybe you put on the back burner, right? So mindfulness is coming in everywhere, yeah. all right? So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna start doing this every day. Deal. You can be your accountability partner. Have some mindful eating if you want. We're you both gonna do Like I said, just, just three or four bites. Every meal, you're golden. Yeah. All right? But anyways, we did a video over on Carly's channel too. It'll be linked down in the description below. Anything else cool going on in your life that people need to know about? Nope. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Links to her social media will be uh, down in the, the description below. She has like a million bajillion followers and stuff. <laughs> so. so yeah, go check her out. All right, but anyways, that's all we got. Make sure you like this video, subscribe. Thanks to all the patrons and we'll see you next time. Bye.